All right, Jason Cullen's revelation that he is gay has far-reaching effect on every walk of life. Like many of you, I have scoured the internet and there is an overwhelming amount of support for Collins. The fact that he's a professional athlete makes his story bigger than ever for many. We have a way of putting jocks on a pedestal and it's usually the media which is portrayed as the bad guy when exposing a player's weakness or shortcoming. I'm from the old school here and let's be honest folks, back in the day, Collins' pronouncement that he is gay might have been construed as a weakness. It is refreshing to note that for the most part, this generation doesn't seem to have issues along those lines, and that is very good news. As a reporter, when we're critical of players' performance, the player usually retaliates by blasting that media person for not having played the game at the professional level. Remember several years ago when George Brett went ballistic with those F-bombs on camera because he felt a handful of media types, including this reporter, was unfairly critical of the Royals manager Trey Hillman? Several months later, the manager was canned. The criticism of Hillman from the media was justified. There is clearly an adversarial relationship between the media and professional athletes. It didn't used to be that way. But a lot of things have changed in time, much of it for the better. This is one time now that the media has stepped forward in helping Collins with his message that he wants to deliver. And it's very simple. It is okay to be gay. And no one should have to go through life in hiding. Never. That's Jack Smack.